Hi Gemini, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the rules keep reversing between you and your person. And with that said, again, these are general, not personal. So not everything is going to be the same for everybody. So we have uh, the devil. This is Capricorn energy. Then we got the seven of swords in the reverse. This is Capricorn towards Virgo energy as well. We got the two of wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. We got the six of swords. This is your energy, Libra and Aquarius as well. We got the seven of cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And then we have the nine of cups in the reverse. Again, a water sign. At the bottom of the deck, we got the three of cups and the two of swords right here. So it seems to be there's a third party situation here somebody has an issue with drinking somebody has an issue with committing somebody has an issue with making the right choices and being upfront about it somebody has a lot of issues but those are the main reasons that you dislike and that is making the connection so hard perhaps so impossible to make it work so we have the devil and the seven of pentacles in reverse so your person here is very toxic they have very toxic traits they have a lot of problems a lot of problems with them within themselves and they know that you know they know that and uh, they just don't change right they don't change perhaps they promise you i'm gonna do better i'm gonna i'm gonna change give me a chance and they just go back again to the same behaviors and you give them a chance because you believe and you trust and you want to believe that things are going to be different but they just they just don't change you know and it feels like you're wasting your time and with the two of ones right here you got had enough right you had enough of the same situation the same bs the same empty promises and you decided to leave them behind with the two of ones you said you know what i deserve better i'm looking for better things i'm looking for bigger things and i just need to walk away and it was very hard for you because i see intentions of give it in a chance i feel like your your mind and your heart did fought very harsh on upon this decision here because your mind said let go and your heart said one more time but you still went with your intuition you went with your instinct and you decided to walk away because you again at the end of the day you knew what's best for you and the six of swords is you walking away from a situation that even though that could be best for you it is very heartbreaking because like i said before your mind and your heart they're not on the same on the same page with the seven of, of cups right here and the nine of cups right here i feel like you thought this person was going to reach out to you like very quick you thought like you know like this person was gonna put some sort of effort to get you back and they just like didn't and i feel like you felt very disappointed you felt very disappointed look at this look at this the queen of swords in reverse you felt very disappointed you're like i cannot believe this person just saw me walk away after everything they done to me after all the chances i gave them and they just don't want to fight for me and i feel like you had a lot of disappointment you know you felt very disappointed What is this person feeling towards Gemini right now? What are they feeling towards Gemini? Six of Wands, the Hangman. I heard very good energy. Let's see. The Nine of Swords, Leo, I'm sorry. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. We got Three of Cups, Eight of Cups. There's a strong water sign and a strong air sign here. I feel like they're coming back, but instead of like bringing you happiness, this person is going to bring anxiety and stress over you. This person is like, they don't understand why you guys broke up on the first time. And have you ever deal with kind of people that you explain things over and over and over? And you can actually literally explain things like if they were five and they still say yes, but they just don't get it. They just don't get it. They tell you, hey, I get it, blah, 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 I want to change. It's just like your person, I do not know if he or she is acting up or so, but they just don't get it. They're just people who are just 
this is a big trait of being selfish and narcissistic that they are the smartest people babes they will tell you exactly what you want to hear they will act this the way that they should act or the way they want to act to get a reaction out of you or to even get forgiveness out of you but they don't really mean it so like i said before this person is going to come around right and they're going to tell you everything you want to hear they're going to say things just so perfect like if it was written in a book literally like if they were reading a script right and when the nine of swords right here you're going to be very confused stressed and in a way depressed because this person does not bring any positivity to your life because they don't change and how can you tell the heart to shut up right that is one of the, the difficult things and when you tell me oh i can do this i can do that honey you should be working for NASA if you can do that. A new a new thing to work for because if you can't control emotions, bro, you should work for NASA or something because this is incredible, okay? But talking realistically, right, we cannot control our emotions, okay? If you, if you love somebody, it takes a little bit for you to stop loving them. That's what we call healing, walking away, right? It doesn't mean that you're going to go back to them. It does not mean that you're going to take, you know, take it to the extreme, but emotionally wise it's not the same as your instinct you know what i'm saying so that's what i try to explain in all my videos like i said before because this person still has the drinking problem and they still have the party problem the childish problem the not committing problem and the third party situation which is giving a lot of people the same amount of attention and they know they shouldn't but they still do You walk away from this person once and they're telling you to keep your word. They're asking you to keep your word from walking away from this person. I know that if you look Gemini Chero, you're going to see so many love stories, so many perfect ending, so many, so many fairy tales. And here I am giving you the total opposite. Because like I said before, it's nice to pretend that those readings are ours. But your intuition will tell you. If you click on my video, because my titles are pretty explanatory, right? And if you click on it, it's because you know, your energies know that this is for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Like I said, keep in mind that they're asking you, spirit is asking you to keep your promise and stay away from them. That's why they're asking you right now. Because they're telling you it's not worth fighting. You're going to waste your time. And at the end of the day, this person will pay you the same way they paid you before. And if you don't have a kid, you'll end up, you're going to end up prego. Or you're going to end up with a kid. And this person will never step up for the plate. They will never step up on, for their plate. Not for you or anybody besides themselves. So, be careful with that. What is this person's uh, problem? What is their, this person's blockages? Why are they acting like that? So this person is emotionally unavailable. They have been for a long time. This is somebody that's scared, broken, hurt, afraid. And they just, like I said before, it's somebody that's emotionally unavailable. They don't understand feelings. They've been hurt before, like everybody, because everybody older than 18 has been hurt before by somebody, right? And this person has, and look at this, and they just could have gotten cheated on when they were, you know, in the first relationship, and now they just don't want to be cheated on ever again. They don't want to get cheated on ever again, so they're doing exactly what they got, what somebody did to them in the past, just to pre prevent them from having a heartbreak or prevent them from having a bad experience in love, right? But they're doing it to the wrong person. So your person is very conflicted. Your person has a lot of issues. Um, they have uh, issues with the law, issues with money, 
issues with life to have a lot of karma within themselves other things that they have done not to you only but other people and they haven't uh make amends with that kind of karma whatever they've done they've done stuff to their exes as well so they need to work that out they need to work that out because it ain't looking good for them and you should not be involved with somebody who needs to work on their karma before giving you or offering you what you want because you're going to end up losing then we got the nine of cups right here like i said before this person doesn't love you this person does not love you okay there's no there's no a drop of love in their in their system it's it it's all about hold on my son and i'm back as i was saying there's not an ounce of like love in their energies it's more about wanting you you know like they like you it's like you wear like a trophy like something nice to look at something nice to have at the same time they can offer they they can't offer you what you deserve what you want what you already talked to them about they are refusing to let you go so this is a narcissist could be a narcissistic person uh this person could also have some some sort of like sex addiction as well so the best thing you can do is to walk away from this person like move forward don't talk to them don't fall back into their trap you know into their ways like i feel like it's not worth it for you to go back to this person Mira, look pero like look it's telling you that it's not even worth the sacrifices that is not worth it so i will definitely just stay away from them because this person just wants you there's no love they're gonna hurt you they just want you because you left they have never lost anybody like that like you so they don't want they want you but they're not gonna give you anything you want they're not gonna offer you anything different besides what you've been experiences experienced it since day one is it worth waiting for them i'm just gonna ask just for you to have a confirmation if you doubt me look strength be strong look the seven of swords be strong and hold back it's not worth if you know tarot you know seven of swords is not the good card is the player card so unless you you like that kind of people in your life well it's not worth it and we know that king of wands he's or she's never gonna be uh rages they're never gonna be the one that you want they're never gonna be the one that you could have in your life it's gonna be somebody else it's not gonna be them they're not honest they're not straightforward they don't like commitment they cannot commit they can never be the person that you wanted them to be people don't change just because we want to like i said before it's gonna be a waste of your time so no 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 it's not worth waiting for them so what is the advice for gemini here what is the best advice for my beautiful gemini here They want you to fight the urge of coming back to this person to fight it because the they are saying to remember the way they took you away from to not go back to where you once felt unappreciated. Why? Look at this page of cups. This is a young energy. A new person wanted to come in into your life this is a water sign this could be a Pisces it's it's a very very strong Pisces but this could be Pisces cancer or Scorpio and they're telling you there's a new energy wanting to come in once you say no to this person completely and you decide to walk away look look a young nine of Pentacles this could also be an earth sign like I said before Capricorn Taurus and Virgo wanting to come in coming in into your life so like I said before there's new people wanting to come in into your life you should not take that for granted queen of wands if you're stuck with the past the past will never treat you like how you deserve you deserve better and you know that and the past will never be that so the new is here the best thing you can do is Stop holding on to the past. Stop holding on to this specific person. Yeah, they were your first love. They were a soulmate or whatever you want to call it. But this person was not meant for you to be with them. It was for a lesson. It was a lesson. And people hate that because it's hard to hear the truth. It's hard. These words that are coming out of my mouth is hard to listen. It's hard to acknowledge. It's hard to accept. But 
acceptance will take you along the way, a longer way. And if you want healthier, better, and better things coming your way, there's a new energy wanting to come in. Not too soon. Not, not I, was, I don't know why I said not too soon. It might be not too soon because it's not even giving me a number. But it could be around summer, like 2022 summer. And if you want a month name, schedule a personal reading with a tarot reader. You know, like I said before, the Surgeon general. So, again, look. I think you doubt that you could actually find this person. I see number two being important, but look, a Leo, Gemini as well, coming in your life, wanted to give you the love and attention you deserve. But it's coming from a new energy. And Brent, look at this, a soulmate connection. There's also this ex, like I said before, coming in, but you need to stay away from this toxic ex. There's also a new person. It could be somebody that you went to school with and that you've forgotten about and this completely new because it's like not a new person but a new way of seeing them a new connection a new relationship so it's coming so the best advice for you is let go of the past don't look back let them be and just embrace the new because the new is here and it wants to come into your life so that's awesome so let's give you some affirmations card cards here okay so my beautiful gemini so we got a couple cards and i want to start with this too so we got this card right here and it says i know that i am the only one who determines how my story unfolds i am the main character and then we got i know that i do not need i i know that i do not need the, to avoid making others uncomfortable by playing small i'm taking up space this one here I know that my deepest desires are the pathways towards my dreams. I am going where it feels right. It's right here. I know that I am the only one who determines what is and isn't right for me. I am the fi I I am the final say. Cuz he's my guy. And last one. I know that it is important to celebrate each each win. Okay, sorry. I know that it is important to celebrate each, each win. No matter how big or small, I am celebrating me. Sorry about that. So, this is the end of the reading. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please like and subscribe. And Gemini, you're amazing. You're valuable. You're worthy. I love you. Please do not take people who do not care if they lose you or not. Be strong enough to walk away from the negativity because there's new one to come in new people new opportunities but the only way that you can see those people is if you ever let go of the past so please let go of the past that does not serve you and open the path for new things coming your way okay again this is the end of your reading thank you so much for your time please like and subscribe and i'll be back um this week with more readings i got other stuff for you as well like i said i love you so much and i'll be back soon bye